Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So remember the now infamous update that rolled out as part of the January Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10, which was KB5034441. Now, if we just scroll down my update history, if it's still on my update history page, because that was quite some time ago, but yeah, here we go, here it is. Rolled out the 9th, 10th of January, uh, depending on your region, 5034441. Now, it seems that Microsoft is rolling out a, another update to follow up to that update, which is very similar, which has rolled out as a security update for Windows 10, KB5046400. So I'm just giving you a heads up that this has rolled out as a mandatory security update as part of the Patch Tuesday B-release update, which I've just posted on, and I'll leave this update um, linked down below and in the end screen, 5044273. And uh, what the update is all about, according to Microsoft, it's an update for the Windows recovery environment for Windows 10 versions 21H2 and 22H2. And all they say regarding the update is um, the update automatically applies safe OS dynamic update 5044615, which basically is an update to make improvements to the Windows recovery environment on uh, Windows 10. And um, that's WinRE for short. And the update installs improvements to Windows recovery features. So basically, um, this is a very similar update as mentioned to the now infamous update that rolled out in January 5034441. Now Microsoft does say, just to give you a heads up, that the update will not be offered um, under the following conditions. If the WinRE recovery partition does not have sufficient free space, or if you're running if your running PC does not have a WinRE recovery partition. Now how you can check to see what this is all about and if you have a recovery partition is I would just suggest heading to your search and do a search for disk partitions and this can take a couple of seconds to open up because it's got to connect um, to a whole lot of different services so while that's opening up um, Microsoft recommends that the update requires 250 megabytes of free space so if uh, you don't have sufficient free space, then you won't um, receive the update. So just to show you what this is about, here is my recovery partition, which is 900 megabytes. Now this could either be here or here at the back, depending on your setup, because I dual boot uh, this Windows 10 system with uh, Linux. So mine is here to the front, but it could also be here at the back. So... I have enough free space, that's why I have been offered the update 5046400, which as mentioned, um, automatically applies safe OS dynamic update to the Windows recovery environment. So basically this is a kind of a maintenance update security wise that Microsoft is rolling out. Now I'm going to just stop here. If for whatever reason the update is not installing like the previous update did, back in January, which was, as mentioned, 5034441, then what I would suggest is just ignore the update. Hopefully it will install sooner than later if it isn't installing now, or you can hide the update. And I'll post a video down below in the description and in the end screen if this update is resurfacing because it is automatic. Um, I'll show you how to hide the up any update and as, as mentioned, go check that video out. So I'm just giving you a heads up, guys. This update is rolling out as part of our security updates uh, for October 2024. So um, that's if you're not seeing it, then obviously you don't, you do not have su sufficient free space, or you don't, you, you do not have a Windows recovery environment. But if you are seeing it, that's the reason why Microsoft, as mentioned, is um, basically improving the Windows recovery features with this update. So if I get any more info or I get any um, news doing the rounds online or in the comments where maybe this update is failing to install like the previous update, 
obviously I'll post ASAP and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.